I'm David Marcus with Bianca Bosker, author of the new book, Court Dork. And so what drew you to this world of people who obsess about wine? So there were two levels to my start on this journey. One is I really have always been someone who is obsessed with people's obsessions. And no one does mania like people in the wine world. So on one level, it was really started with something called the Best Sommelier in the World competition that's basically um, the Westminster Dog Show with booze. And, you know, people hire memory coaches, they hire sports psychologists, they take dancing lessons to move gracefully across the floor. And that was just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, it's a world where wine is not a passion, it's a way of life. And so for me, part of it was understanding why. I mean, what what was it about a glass of fermented grape juice that could move people's soul? And, 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 and what did you find? I mean, it's the stories, it's the histories. I think that it's not, you know, for some people, a glass of wine is something that's purely stimulating on a physical level. And I have to confess, for me, at the beginning, I didn't get much out of a glass of wine besides drunk. And, you know, but the more that you learn to discriminate the tastes and the smells and the histories and you know, the stories that go into the glass, it becomes such an emotionally and intellectually moving exercise. I mean, I never expected to say this, but I think there actually is logic to describing wine like art or poetry. It can really move your soul in that, that way. Not every bottle, but some can. And one of the really compelling passages in your book is is when you work here at Terroir Tribeca for a stint uh, with Paul Greco, one of the great personalities in the New York wine world. What was it like uh, being on the the other side of of the table or the bar? An absolute blast and deeply humbling. I mean, it, it's tough. It's really hard. It's and it's so much fun. Um, I think what was really attracted to what was really attractive to me about terroir was the fact that I think Paul to me embraces this philosophy of not bringing wine as it is to people, but people as they are to wine. It becomes a very personal conversation. I mean, here at terroir, we got to compare wines to Hemingway, to Kim Kardashian, to the Rolling Stones. I mean, whatever it was that that person sort of needed to hear about that bottle. For some people, it's the tasting notes, and for others, it's these broader, almost emotional associations. And that was so much fun. Bianca, thanks for joining us. For The Street, I'm David Marcus.